In this video, I'm going to show you how to play defense correctly, match defense correctly in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. I upload new videos every single day that can help you get better at Madden 22. Also, if you're new to the channel, I would encourage you to check out my uh, true fan membership down below. It gets you access to every Madden 22 offensive, defensive uh, ebook or game plan that I'll be releasing in the Madden 22 season. It's just 10 bucks a month. It gets you access to everything. Unlock all of the ebooks, all the defensive schemes, the offensive schemes, all of the exclusive tips and breakdowns. It really is, in my opinion, the best place where you can take your Madden game to the next level. Now in this video, like I said, I want to be I want to teach you how I like to play match defense, or how I would recommend you play match defense correctly, specifically against the uh, why or the trips tight end formation. I think the trips tight end formation is one of the more difficult formations to defend in the Madden 22 in the Madden 22 uh, gameplay. So uh, we're just going to go over a couple of key things that you need to know whenever you're defending trips tight end. And we're going to be going over the cover four quarters. Now, the cover four quarters, in my opinion, is one of the best defenses in the game. It might all, I also believe that this defense is very special in terms of how it's going to defend the trips tight end formation and really any formation in the game because it adapts to the formation. So how do you play cover four quarters properly against the trips tight end? We're going to teach you that in this video. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here, and what I like to do is go ahead and manually back off the outside quarter zones just because I think it's going to significantly help them play, you know, play the play the uh, opponent. As you can see here, we backed off that solo or that trip side quarter zone. And what, what quarters is going to do in, in trips tied in is it's going to do uh, essentially what's called the solo check, but that's only going to apply if, for example, my tight end was outside. And what this basically means is if my tight end goes on a vertical route, of course the quarter zone is gonna take him. However, when you get a solo check, essentially what that means is no matter what happens, that tight end on the right side is going to be played in man-to-man. -man. You'll see here he's running a drag, which is not considered a vertical route, but as you see, that guy is there to make the play because he's in what's called a meg coverage or a solo check, meaning he's got that player man every single where every everywhere he goes. That being said, when you when you put the tight end in compression like this, all of a sudden it changes. For example, I'm gonna audible to a drag route for the tight end out of the verticals play, and I just want you to watch what happens. You're going to see that that outside corner zone doesn't take him. Instead, the safety does. And as you see, he does a pretty decent job for the most part. But what happens is it actually starts to break down the coverage. If you actually think about the way the coverage works, you become kind of lost. Because who are you really supposed to use? Or are you supposed to use this guy, this guy, or this guy? Well, that's really the question we're going to dive into here for a second. So what you're going to see is if I run the verticals play, you're going to see here that that safety is going to be responsible for taking him. And then you're going to see that, uh-oh, this crosser is now wide open because the game breaks this down. Part of the really thing, uh, the really important thing that I want to emphasize whenever you're playing match defense in Madden is it does not, you cannot assume that it works perfectly just like it does in the NFL. In the NFL, the principles will be the principles no matter what. Ideally, in Madden, it would be the same way, even more so, that the principles would be the principles, and no matter what happened, they would always do the right thing, right? But it's not like that in Madden, especially from formations that I would say are considered uh, glitchy formations or meta formations, like the bunch, the bunch tight end, the trips tight end. Those are some of the more popular formations. Why? Because they break down a lot of the techniques that would generally work if they were just running a wide trips or a spread set. So, that being said, how can we adjust the cover four quarters? Because essentially what you're seeing is this. This outside quarter on the left is responsible for taking number one if he goes man to man. Well, number one is the outside, first or outside receiver on the left, which is Mike Evans. The number two receiver is Elliott, so it's his, it's his relationship. So Godwin, the inside quarter on the left, his responsibility is if Godwin goes vertical. What I mean by vertical is if he goes on a 10 yard or more route, like to the corner, to the post, to the in route, or to a vertical, just a straight streak, Elliott's job is to take him in man-to-man -man coverage. Clark, 
is playing in a relationship with number three, right? If number three goes vertical, then Clark is supposed to take him, unless the tight end runs a drag. If the tight end runs the drag, then Clark is responsible for cutting the drag or taking the drag underneath, and then Peters is now the one that is playing relative to number three. And so let me show you what happens if we have a pretty effective route concept. We could do something to this extent right here, and you're gonna see here that this is gonna be a little bit of a bad proposition for this defense. You're gonna see that if I do this, this is how the coverage breaks down. And as you can see, if you're playing somebody that knows what they're doing, you're gonna find that that right there, that adjustment can put you in a little bit of a bind. So what are you supposed to do? Well, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and play trips tight end as if it was any other formation. Remember, when we motion that tight end to the outside, and let me just show this really quickly, if we run that same route combination and we motion this tight end to the outside and we put him on a drag, I just want to show you, you see here, we're going to see a very significantly big difference, and I want you to watch what I'm going to do here. So, uh, again, we're just backing these guys off so they're not locked. But anyways, it's snap the ball. You're going to see here, I'm going to try to run that same streak, and now it's not open by any means. Why is it not open by any means? Well, because when that tight end is out wide, that outside quarter on the right side has him in what's called med coverage, man everywhere he goes. It's the solo check that you get whenever quarters is facing a trips set. So if we take that mentality and we just simply apply that to this, I want to show you what we're going to come up with. In essence, what's going to happen is we are going to go ahead and just simply man lock the tight end. So we're just going to man up that tight end with the outside quarter on the right side. And now what you're going to see is that route combination that was causing me a little bit of trouble with the drag and, the, and, that, and that post. If we take a look now because the game, we've coded the game, and we've in interrupted the game's coding, and we've said, you know what, we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment. We're going to put that outside quarter in Meg. As you saw right there, that basically literally solves the problem of trips tight end. Let me show it to you one more time. All we're doing is we're going to man lock the tight end with the outside corner on the right side of the screen. So as you can see here, he's man locked. That tight end, no matter where he goes, he's going to be in man-to-man -man coverage. And at the snap of the ball, if we try to throw this streak that was one time open, you're going to see now it's going to be played very effectively. The other reason why I like to do this is because now what you're going to notice is, let's say, for example, that I run a deep crossing route from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. This is one of my personal favorite plays. A lot of people like to run, go ahead and run a delay fade as well as kind of a check down. Well, when you, whenever you man up a delay fade, most of the time in this year's game, you're gonna have pretty good success taking that away. And again, remember, now this really makes it clear to that safety that his only responsibility is number three if number three goes vertical. He has nothing to do with the tight end now because we've man locked the tight end. So what you're going to see here is now that crossing route's going to go, and as you see, it's going to play the crossing route perfectly. Really, really great adjustment, in my opinion, from trips tight end. And the reason why I like this adjustment is because this now allows me to go ahead and be able to poach uh, a corner on the left side. For example, if I do something like this, I want you to take a look at this corner route to the left. You're going to see that that corner will drop back and will play the corner route perfectly even if they run one of the most popular flooding concepts out of trip side in. Let me take that example. Let me give you one more example of this and then we'll, we'll let you guys go for the day. But I want to show you this real quick. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run Brown to the corner. We're going to run Godwin to the, the vertical. And then we're going to take Evans and we're going to put him in, in his position right there. Well, because Evans is not running a vertical route and we are in quarters, that outside corner zone is not man locked on that guy. He's not in med coverage because we backed him off. So now what you're going to see is, okay, uh-oh, he there's no corner, so he can just go back and poach on that. Now he is a little bit late getting back there, but he does to the degree get, to a degree uh, get back there. Let me show you that one more time. And again, we'll just take the tight end on the backside and play a corner route and just kind of get a little flood going. Um, but what you'll see again, I'm in quarters. We man lock the tight end. And what you should see here is if we run this flooding concept, um, we should get a pretty decent coverage from that three rec. As you can see, he plays it pretty well to the corner. So that is a pretty solid way that you could run the quarters coverage against trip side in. Now in our ebook, we actually, in our match coverage 
guide, we actually go into a little bit more detail on this concept and we literally can put trips tied in in a complete body bag uh, with the match coverage. So if you wanna learn the rest of this scheme, I would really encourage you to sign up for my true fan membership. It's on sale for just $10 a month and you can cancel it whenever you want. It, we already have nine eBooks over there, seven of them on the defensive side of the ball, and we've got a ton more content coming for that. So I hope you guys are really enjoying that membership. Let me know if you have any questions about it in the comments. But again, if you wanna sign up for that, there's a link in the comment section and in the description. And then if you're sitting there saying, you know what, I don't really want a membership, I just wanna get the individual guide. Well, the actual match coverage defensive guide is on sale for just 15 bucks. So if you wanna get that, I'm gonna put a link down there as well. Thanks for your time. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you guys later.